Hello, everybody. It is me, Claudia Velado, realtor at Coldwell Banker and your host of Homes 479. Today, we are going to take a tour of Fayetteville's entertainment district. And so this is right by the university. It's in the heart of Fayetteville. And the boundaries that I'm using for this are College Avenue to the east, Arkansas Avenue to the west, Maple to the north, and then Archibald Yell and Prairie Street to the south. So right now we're here at Dixon Street, and this is one of two main entertainment areas in the entire um, Fayetteville Entertainment District. Uh, Dixon Street tends to cater quite a bit to students. There's a mix of bars, um, you know, affordable restaurants, some retail, but it doesn't exclusively cater to restaurants. It's also uh, an arts area. You've got Walton Art Center where we get world-class uh, Broadway shows and all kinds of great performances. And then we also have um, Theater Squared, which will pass by later. That's our independent uh, um, theater uh, facility and they have edgier plays um, over there. Um, here we've got George's Majestic, which is well known. Over here, this is going to be transformed soon. Right now, it looks, it's uh, just a parking lot, but um, it's going to be an urban park um, here at the heart of the Arts Corridor. Over here, we've got um, some new construction going on. The cool thing about the entertainment district is that there's quite a lot of diversity in real estate. We find commercial lease, commercial sale, residential uh, rental, and residential sale. For commercial lease, the prices vary considerably. You can get a very tiny office in the entertainment district, a uh, 200 square foot office for less than $2 a square foot, um, and all the way up to $40 a square foot uh, for uh, almost 10,000 square foot restaurant. So it really does vary quite a bit. Uh, most commercial leases tend to lease out for about $21 to $24 a square foot. And um, over here, this is uh, pending right now. And the next, this is kind of nearing the end of Dixon Street. Um, and we're going to turn right here on block where you'll see this is one of the arms, I would say, of the second entertainment area in the district, which is the square. So Block Street extends out from the square, and it's um, seen, this is Atlas Restaurant, it's a new restaurant, delicious, highly recommend it. We've seen um, a real revitalization of this area. Lots of cool businesses have opened up recently. Like over here, we've got Big Box, which is one of my, I don't know if you can see that, one of my favorites, karaoke bar. All kinds of bars, really nice uh, retail. Um, and we've recently gotten some really good restaurants in the area, such as um, Atlas and then Cheers up front. So now we are here at Block Street and you can see We've got Hugo's, we've got Lola, Wander, Block Street Records, Foxtrot, Fat Bottom Girls, The Nines Alley, um, some other clothing stores, and right here we've got The Square. The Square is a ton of fun during the um, kind of summer months. Um, every Saturday, there's a lovely farmer's market with music and beautiful flowers and vegetables. So it's very lively. And then also when it warms up, there's um, first Thursday. The first Thursday of the month, there's usually an activity here um, in the evening. Um, and so 
fun place to be getting more lively. Um, more businesses are moving in. Here we've got the Prior Center. There's more of the square, and the square really looks gorgeous when it's um, in bloom, in full bloom. Um, so, uh, commercial sales also vary quite a bit. We could see anywhere from, you know, 400,000 to almost 500,000 um, at the lowest end, all the way up to uh, 1.7 million at the higher end. Up here we have, you see that kind of cool pattern? That's the graduate. They've taken an otherwise, oh, and back there, oh, I wanted to show that to you. Oh, well. Um, they've taken an otherwise really boring building and given it some personality, so I think that's, that's pretty fun. And the uh, commercial sales um, also vary, as I was saying. The multifamily um, you can get a fourplex for about seven hundred fifty thousand. Um, if you if you're wanting to get a multifamily around here, generally this area is a lot more expensive than the other parts of Fayetteville. For residential sales, we see typically about two hundred eighty dollars a square foot for a home in this area. Um, it could go all the way up to $400 a square foot and that includes both condos and single family. Uh, condos, you know, you find a lot of smaller places around here, two bed, two bath, or one bed, one bath. Uh, so you see very, some very nice homes. You see also some um, older homes that perhaps need a little TLC. And of course, since we're so close to the university, you'll find uh, lots of rentals. Um, sometimes students will rent out these homes. Now, with the rentals, I'm only looking at what's on the MLS. There are some rentals in the entertainment district that are exclusively for students and so um, I'm not counting those I understand that they tend to run for about $700 a room uh, for students but uh, with the residential rentals you can get anywhere from $4,000 a month to rent a real swanky two bed two bath condo um, or fifteen hundred a month for um, for a single family home that's maybe in need of a little bit of um, you know TLC. Um, so yeah, so the entertainment district typically uh, pricier than the other parts of Fayetteville, but lots of fun, lots to do around here. You can walk to everything. You're close to the bike trail. You've got up here, we've got the library coming up and we're getting a huge new library expansion. It's going to be gorgeous. So watch this space. If you've got any comments or questions about this area or the prices in this area, both residential and commercial, give me a call or message below. Talk soon.